Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you learn how the following. First is to access XAML element from code behind. And a use slider element. Let's define what is a slider. A slider is a horizontal bar that can be manipulated by the user to select a double value from a continuous range. The slider defines three properties of type double. These are minimum, maximum, value. Minimum is the minimum of the range, with a default value of zero. Maximum is the maximum of the range, with a default value of one. And value is the slider's value, which can range between minimum and maximum, and has a default value of zero. All three properties are backed by bindable property objects. The value property has a default binding mode of binding mode two-way, which means that it's suitable as a binding source in an application that uses the model view view model also known as MVVM architecture. Just a few warnings in using the slider element. Internally, the slider ensures that minimum is less than maximum. If minimum or maximum are ever set so that minimum is not less than maximum, an exception is raised. And do not use unconstrained horizontal layout options of center, start, or end with slider. On both Android and the UWP, the slider collapses to a bar of zero length, and on iOS, the bar is very short. Keep the default horizontal option setting of fill, and don't use a width of auto when putting slider in a grid layout. The slider also defines several properties that affect its appearance. Minimum track color is the bar color on the left side of the thumb. Maximum track color is the bar color on the right side of the thumb. Thumb color is the thumb color. And thumb image source is the image to use for the thumb of type image source. Let's open now our Visual Studio and do some coding. What we're going to do now is to access the XAML element from code behind. For this video lesson, we are going to use a slider and a label. What we are going to do is to rotate a label using slider and display the slider's value when it changed. I already created a project, and I name it, Manipulate XAML Element. First, go to Solution Explorer. Shared code, open the main page XAML file. Then delete its initial content. Now let's add a label with a text property of rotating text. Then a slider that will control our label. And another label with a text property of zero. This label will display the current value of the slider. Let us also change the horizontal and vertical options of the labels. For us to access and manipulate these two labels, we need to give a name or an ID to it that the code behind will recognize. We use one of the attributes defined in the Microsoft namespace. We add an attribute to our label called x colon name. This X is a prefix that is declared in XMLNS namespace declaration for Microsoft namespace. So this name attribute belongs to the standard XAML that Microsoft introduced in 2009, and it is applicable in other frameworks that use XAML like Silverlight or Windows Presentation Foundation or Xamarin Forms. 
Now we set this name to an identifier, let's give it a name, rotating label. And this one a slider value. For the slider element, let's set up its maximum property to 360. And add an event handler called value changed. The Visual Studio always suggests a name for our events. So let's choose the suggested name for the event. Then save it. Now let's open the code behind. Go to the value change event handler of our slider. To get the slider value, we can use the arguments from this event. The object and the value change event arguments. If we want to get the value from the object itself, we need to cast the object, which is the sender, into a slider type. Then get the value property. Then we assign this value into a variable. With this code, we can get the current value of the slider. But if you just after to the current value of the slider, I would recommend to use the other arguments. See, if I hover the mouse pointer to this event, it will display a description. And it says that it can provide old and new value. The new value is the current value. Using this, we don't have to cast the object. We simply get the value by typing the variable name, which is E. then new value. Now we can assign this value to our labels. Let's type in the identifier or the name that we assign to the labels element. As you can see, the name appears in the IntelliSense. This means that we can now have access to our XAML element. Our objective is to rotate the label and display the slider's value while if it changed. The label element has a property of rotation. And let's assign the value of the slider to it. For the slider value label, we just need to set its text property to slider value. We cast the value into string type. Since the text property of label is a string of type. Let's run the program. Now let's see how the labels react to the slider. Let's change the font size of the labels. There you have it. That is how you manipulate XAML elements at runtime. Let's change the appearance of the slider by setting colors to the track color and thumb color.
That's it guys. That's how we manipulate the appearance of the slider and update the property of the label using slider. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.